My name is Elsie Lottie and I'm the owner of Bethany's Home Sweet Haunted Home. This is Elsie. She bought this historic house in hopes of turning it into a rental property, but it wasn't long before tenants were reporting strange experiences that left them fleeing. In better hopes of understanding who was behind these hauntings, Elsie took the initiative and spent some time in the house alone, setting up cameras to record 24-7 as she'd done a deep dive into the history of the property. This is my binder of all the documents that I have acquired thus far. All different kinds of stories of the house, obituaries, criminal records, all sorts of deaths, murders. It took me probably 500 plus hours of research. In the early years, it was used as a brothel and boarding house ran by a young woman by the name Maggie. Maggie is considered one of the benign ghosts that have been seen here alongside her husband William and their children. Maggie is buried down the cemetery, which is about 700 feet away. This is the picture that was taken by um, a paranormal group and they sent it to me. To me, there looks like there's actually five people. I see a woman with long hair, then I see like two girls here, there's a man here, and there's a child laying across them here. It kind of looks like it could be Maggie, William, their two daughters, and their son. Elsie welcomes the past residents at her home, but it's the portal in the basement she feels is hosting some unwanted guests. Dark shadows in the hall, objects moving by themselves, unexplained banging. <laughs> and pictures flying off the wall. There seems to be an abundance of male spirits here that like to touch, kiss, and grope females who enter their territory. We were invited to stay the night and experience these hauntings for ourselves, and I believe this to be one of the most active locations we have ever encountered. If I hear you yell, I promise I'll come running, but you'll be fine. What was that? Welcome back to Ghost Club Paranormal. Tonight we are in Jackson, California at Bethany's Home Sweet Haunted Home. Right behind us here, it's an Airbnb, a haunted Airbnb at that, that you guys can stay the night. Now we've been here for a few hours in... Yeah. It's already hit the fan, obviously we haven't really been filming, but I'll let you in on that in just a few here. First off, any thoughts, feelings? What do you think about this place right now? This place is definitely haunted. We're dealing with at least um, six or seven different energies, very strong energies. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen tonight. We also have to keep in mind that this building here was built in 1877. So this is like one of the oldest homes in this area. Another thing you can't see because it's at nighttime, but there is a creek that runs along literally underneath this house. So as I say, water conducts energy and also one of the previous owners actually drowned in that creek. So many stories, so many spirits. Let's go inside and let's unwind. We're coming in. This is a five bedroom house. There's two stories. There's the first story, which is actually available to rent through Airbnb. And then there's also the basement. <laughs> that was perfect timing, the light just turned off. Real fast, I wanna talk about these mirrors. Last week I had a dream, there was three hands that were coming out of the mirrors and the second I walked into this house and saw this mirror wall, I was like, that's the mirrors. That but is so insane. The house was already speaking to you before you even got here. Those are the freaking mirrors. Like, I'm not even joking, especially this middle one. This one stuck out the most, and I feel like it was this one, this small one, and then also this one. But and they were just coming out. That's it. That's all that happened. They were just reaching out. It was like gray, like dead arms, like reaching out oh. all of the mirrors. Anyway, I don't know if that means anything, but since we've been in this house, me and Mandy were getting ready in this little room here and this light right here is a motion sensor light and we were perfectly still and this light kept on coming on. So that being said, since that kept on happening, we've actually set up over here. It's a night vision camera. 
it's going to be pointing in this direction the entire night. So if anything is walking down this hallway, then we're not going to miss anything. Right, okay, let's talk about what happened earlier because that genuinely has, even though it wasn't captured on camera, it was one of the weirdest things that I've experienced on an investigation. What I experienced outside, and we had been here for honestly not even five minutes, felt a hand come right up on my butt and it like kind of like groped it and it stayed there for about two seconds and then I stepped away from it and then it went away and I was like was that a muscle spasm and I, the reason I didn't say anything to you guys at that time was because I mean I just met like the owner and I didn't want to yeah, be like oh weird. a spirit just grabbed my ass like the second I got here we're continuing the tour and then that's when Elsie brings up there's some females that come here and they get their ass groped. So the second thing that happened was we get taken down into the basement and the basement is known for, I don't know if it's like a darker energy down there, but it's definitely a more active area of the house. And when we were down there, we'd done our little tour, um, the clown doll went off by itself. It was just like a ding. What was that? Uh, that you? That was the clown. This? Yeah, it sounded like it. <gasps> Dude, the clown just went off. As we're leaving the basement, I feel what feels like somebody's finger go underneath my bra strap and like go like up with their finger and then like back down on my shoulder blades. Elsie instantly was like, that's happened to two other females in the house. She has footage one of a woman explaining her experience and then another piece of footage of it happening down in the basement because uh, she has cameras down there uh, to capture any activity. Three women to now have had the same experience. Yeah, right as that happened, that's when the owner turned around and said that there's a spirit down there named Fred. And Fred actually likes a little curvier woman. He's a bit of a jokester. Mm -hmm. he, likes, um, he likes women like of your stats. Say it. <laughs> I don't even. Curvy, <laughs> beautiful women. Well, I wish that it had stopped there, but it didn't. So me and Mandy are now getting ready in our bedroom. And then, and I say our bedroom because I ain't sleeping alone tonight, Mandy. I'm not we even are kidding. together. I'm not staying by myself in one of these rooms. Like I refuse no. to because that was the third time that I got touched. And I was just sitting on the couch. I started putting on my makeup and because this place used to be a brothel, I had said out loud, we're getting ready, we're putting on our makeup. And then all of a sudden I felt a hand just press up against my leg. The exact same feeling that I got with the, with the ass grabbing. Although I'm picking up on stuff, the activity really seems to be centered around you. I'm being affected, but I need you to be the one that figures this out. What the messed up thing is, is his wife is here in spirit as well. See you later. <laughs> I'm so, sorry. I don't mean to. I don't want this. Like, and it's I'm funny. an engaged woman. It's funny too. And Elsie was asking why, why does his wife Linda stay here? Like, why doesn't she move on? Why is he here? And I really think it's because she's here because he's here. And she's like, I have to watch after him because he does these things. Mm. Like, she's almost annoyed about it. Yeah. That she has to st- Did you hear that? No. Yeah. That she has to st- Did you hear that? No. You didn't hear that? No, what was it? That was a male f***ing voice, dude. That was and it sounded like it was right behind you. Dude, oh, I, I hope we caught hear. that. I'm at the point now that I just want to get the equipment out, set it up, and I really want to have a conversation with this guy. There's a lot of people we need to have a conversation with tonight. There's, There's so lot. many energies here. I'm going to sit at one side of the room and Mandy's going to sit at the other side. Goodbye. I'm going to ask some yes or no questions as well because we also have this nifty device with us today. Are you just going to do regular night shots? Yeah. Okay, that was weird. <gasps> Mandy, what the f was that? I just heard a man saying something like, are you kidding? Or something like that. Did you fucking hear that? Um, okay. There's nobody out there. Let's make sure that wasn't like, 
a TV, outside noise, something like that. Okay, I know th that was over. Mandy. That was right behind me. Okay, and it sounded like it was a it was a man. And then the rem pod went off. And too. he just said, "Are okay." That also went off. That's me. We already have to go talk to the owner because she has cameras outside. That was so loud. It was behind, right, right behind me. And you just said you hey. saw a man behind me. Were your dogs barking? Can I like make sure that that wasn't anything TV or anything like that? Or you, okay. The REM pod went off and you did say that you saw a man behind me, like heard a man behind me. And then I, I heard that right earlier. behind okay. me. We just wanted to clarify that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jeez. You're having... It's okay. It's okay. Okay. That's the neighbors. Yeah, the neighbors, the neighbor's dog is going crazy right now. It's really weird. All the dogs are going crazy right now. Um... Dude, well, we have not heard dogs bark we all... We haven't heard any dogs bark this whole time until mm -mm. we're in the second. I feel like this is a good meeting place for all the spirits right now to kind of figure out a game plan. I just saw a flash of light behind you in that tree. Like inside the house. Like right in that tree, I just saw a little pink, not from a car or anything. Like it came from in the tree, like a flash of light. There were a lot of spirits coming through earlier. I do not know who that was. But if you're here with us right now, or if you can hear my voice, can you please come into this room? And can you take a seat with one of us? I'm hearing like whispering. Like I'm not even kidding, I'm hearing whispering out here in the hallway. Is that you that Mandy can hear? Dude. I am hearing like voices out here. This is where the motion sensor light also was like going on yeah. by itself like crazy, so. <laughs> the AC just kicked on. <laughs> right as we're about to do an EVP session. I don't think that that's a coincidence, Mandy. <laughs> Dude. Dude. I definitely heard like a tap down there. Ready. Are you ready for? Since Fred has been such an active spirit thus far, we're heading to his actual bedroom. And this room is nothing short of spooky. So the pink room is actually where an apparition was captured right here in this mirror. Let's go set up some equipment and figure who the heck Fred is. I am dying to know. Okay, I've left a REM pod in the closet. <gasps> I just saw that. <gasps> Weird. You just sat that down. Do you want me to close your door? So you can have that all to yourself? I just heard a voice again. Okay. I just heard a voice again. It was a female voice. Honestly, if we we're already hearing like actual audible voices, then let's just get the digital recorder out. Okay, recording. Fred, are you the one that's been filling up Jade since we got here? Are you happy that we're here? Did you like the way my ass felt? Were you the one that touched Jade while she was putting on her makeup. Wanna stop it? Yeah, just okay. stop it. I'm stop. like, I'm struggling on like, trying to like figure out like okay. questions, kind of thing like that. Because the, th oh, the only thing that we've really had so far is just the physical touching. Like that's kind of what I want to know. Is it him that's touching me? Yeah. Yeah, that's, well, a, that's a big, yeah. Let's see what he, big question we have. Hopefully he had something to say, so. Me yeah, that was you laughing, but I never asked. It didn't pick up on me asking about, did you like the way that my ass felt? 
that it literally didn't pick me up at all when I asked that question. That's the first time I've ever heard it. Skip a question. Completely. Yeah. I want to ask that question again. With these voice activated recorders, sometimes it, it doesn't always get everything, but a full question? Yeah. That was the only question that like it didn't pick up? Yeah. Okay, let me ask it again. Okay, okay. Please come up to this device that Mandy's holding in her hand right here. And can you please let me know if you liked the feel of my ass? I just want to be clear that this was, it wasn't like the asshole. I feel like when I keep saying that, like the way my ass. I can't breathe. Okay, let's stop it. I can't fucking breathe. This is... I'm, we're being serious. I, I really know. I want to know. I know. This is no. This is serious. Okay. okay. Let's see what happens. I think right. we need to turn on Spirit Box. I mean, maybe this isn't even Fred, because we keep on saying like Fred, Fred. Like, do you like the way my ass feels? Well, what if it's not Fred? Energetically whatever touching the basement feels different hmm like i don't feel like that's fred okay so i'm only gonna ask this once fred are you here with us what did you hear what i heard no okay. i just heard a, it was very loud okay i'm gonna i'm gonna ignore it no what did what'd you hear I just heard my last name, clear as day, Capasso. That's right. It, <gasps> it just said Capasso. The original owners, were they Italian? They were Italian. I hate when I hear my name come through, dude, like, but that was on another level because that was my last name and that was over like three suites. Well, in Remember, we were talking about your last name in this house. That's right. I was talking to the owner about my last name and I told her like it's not a... Anyway, like long story, but yeah, they were listening. They were definitely listening. Okay, who just... who said that? Help me. That sound? I just heard it in the basement. Oh, I help me not. in the basement. Oh. oh, help me in the basement? Basement. You can't see it, but I have chills everywhere. Hear me out. Mm -hmm. I have a theory. Mm -hmm. The Spirit that said, help me, basement. I have a theory that there is a body buried. Uh, what I picked up- Oh, that just yeah. went up. That, thank you. I, and you got it. Yes, I believe that there's a body buried in the basement under the cement. And I believe that the original owners, they knew about it. I'm gonna turn that down and just off just for a second, just so we can kind of like we've got con ourselves. we've got contact. It's happening. Yeah. Should we go to the basement right now? I mean, it did say help me basement. It also said grandma. That could just be protection. A couple more questions, and I think we should head down there. Totally, let's okay. do it. Somebody put somebody under there, and I'm still trying to figure out who money. I'm still trying to figure out who it is that's under the basement. Um, but I cannot, I will never let that go. There was a body down there and I know it. And the family was in on it. Yes. yes. Is that gold? Gold? The gold in the basement, remember? <gasps> they, they hit it. <laughs> okay, let's okay, go. Okay, we're gonna go to the basement right now. 
We have to show you guys where this supposed gold was hidden. And they just confirmed it. That's amazing. Okay. The basement is another one of our really active spots. It's one of the reasons why I actually keep it locked. We have had things fall off the shelves or fall over and break just randomly when nobody's in there. Touching, whispering in your ear. Same thing that happens throughout the house, but I feel like there's more touching in the basement than other places in the house. Yeah, there's been... <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I went into the basement and turned around and this door was closed. I can promise you I have never in a million years would shut myself into that basement. I would never shut that door. And then I came out and I heard you guys. So at the same time you guys showed up, the door closed. This door, it's a thick door. Like, I don't well, know. What was the fact she never closes the door? Did so we close it? Like that. Mm, just maybe like that, and then maybe if it wants to close it, then the spirit yeah, no, can I'm gonna close leave it. it like this. The owner just recently found this. This is a little cubby here where apparently the story is they believe that he was putting his stash of gold in. And I mean, talk about a good hiding spot. We have a couple of cameras set up already in the basement. They're motion censored cameras because there's also a lot of freaking poltergeist activity that goes on in this house. So the owner keeps these cameras running 24 seven and she has some amazing evidence that she's captured herself. It was right here that I got my bra strap, like literally, like somebody put their finger underneath my bra strap. It was right as I had noticed this. And I thought, that's interesting. Why would there be a cross on this door? But apparently that cross has been here for years. And the owner that has it now did not put that there. We have one camera here and we have one camera right there. They're both facing on this chair. And that is because that's where a lot of poltergeist Dude, activity I happens. I just felt the bra strap thing. I swear on everything. Oh my God. I just felt that on my back. So much so that my shirt felt like it. So much so that my shirt felt like it. Did you hear that? I definitely heard movement. Hello? There's somebody here with us. You touching me? Why do you do that for? What is the purpose of that? It kind of feels kind of sleazy. It's very sleazy. It's like very sexual. That's weird. I just got the weirdest sensation of like somebody wanting to like push me off. Dude, get down. <laughs> That's super. Okay, well you're not gonna do that. I just felt a weird shift, did you? Yeah. You're here? There is movement happening on all sides. I think that they're trying to distract us, right? By touching and like making you feel a little uncomfortable to get you out of here. Yes. Because they don't want you doing a deep dive in it. Yeah, a thousand percent. So as you can see from this foundation right here, there's no reason why this should be like that. We're not builders. We're not entirely sure why it would be like this, but a real easy way is to think probably there's something buried in there hidden in there that they obviously don't want people to find but before you had even seen this you had said that you felt like there was a body in the basement there's there's a body there's a male buried underneath the cement and the family knew about it uh, the family did it obviously but everybody in the family knew about it and that was a big secret that they were hiding it had to do with money i know that sounds cliche but it definitely did Recording in the basement is the man that said, help me, the man that's buried under the basement. Is there still gold down here 
And that's why you're here, protecting it. Sorry, that was super weird. What happened? I, like, somebody's messing with me. A weird, like, washout moment, like... Zo like you zoned out? Yeah, like I wasn't there for a second. Mm, okay. You can probably repeat My stop. now, yeah. I do just want to say that the spirit that is down here, or multiple spirits, we're not too sure how many there are, but the owner has actually, like, basically made a little shrine for them. For the multiple spirits of the actual... Mmm, Kit Kat. For the actual uh, spirits of the entire house. <laughs> Could you imagine if I just ate this right now? How disrespectful that would be. Uh, you said you like big girls. <laughs> Let's listen back. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Did you guys close that door? Yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to show you guys something really quick. So while you were asking questions, <laughs> there was... You see this? Is there still gold? And you see how it goes yet? straight down? That's, that's not how dust yeah, usually travels. Yeah. Dust doesn't it's usually like travel going straight, straight down. down. Straight freaking down yeah. to where we're trying to talk about this body. Right now we're mainly trying to focus on the, the body. I mean, like, Mandy's been picking up on it like crazy. That's always something I... That's always something I have considered. I've always wondered if there's something in here. I actually tried to find out about getting, like, ground-penetrating radar in here, but it's not big enough. Like, I called companies. Like, that's how serious I am about actually thinking I'm that's find, true yeah. as well. Wow. And, uh, we do it. I do like this. <gasps> I did not touch that, Mandy. That clown just freaking went off by itself. I just went to go turn this off. I swear to God. Oh, you'll be able to see on the camera. We do it. I didn't like this. <gasps> I did not touch that, Mandy. This is where the orb was caught as well. That's right. We've set up devices around the room. You can go over and touch them to let us know that you're here with us. It just spit out three words said wife suddenly feeling <laughs> that might be fred's wife fred are you here with us whoever made that clown make that noise is it possible to do it again do you want to do spare box yeah i mean we we're getting really good responses yeah. in that other room hey oh. Hello. Who do we have with us? Do you have a name? Sam. Did I just say Sam? It's Sam. Sam is a spirit that is known to just be here at this location. Apparently Sam was with Maggie. Maggie was one of the original owners of this house and she bought this house when she was like 21 years old and ran it as a boarding house. Uh -huh. She was mad at They said that Sam was somebody that she was with or dating. And then her husband William mysteriously drowned yeah. in the creek behind the house. <laughs> Something weird's going on yeah. but I definitely heard Sam come through so let's see I'm if she's with I'm just gonna say us. Sam liked her more than she liked him. Hmm... Okay. I'm just gonna throw that one out there. I just got really weird when I that felt really weird. What? The REM pod's in that room, so if there's anybody back there, can you please touch the REM pod? The device that's on the floor in there? All right, okay. I just had a fucking heart attack. Sam. So you're here with us. We appreciate you coming forward. Did you have any involvement in William's death? Dude. Yeah. 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 Oh my God, Mandy. Also, I totally forgot it said wife. It said wife. So sorry, I don't, oh my God. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. What, you don't want us to talk about it? 
we haven't even tackled the William story yet. We haven't even gotten there. We're I still know. trying to figure everything out. So now we have Sam coming forward claiming that he did have something to do with William's death. If you don't want to talk about William, can you please tell us if you know anything about the person that's buried underneath this house? Yes. yes. Can you tell me that person? Oh. Sam, again. Can you tell me that person's name? Yeah. Okay. It's okay to come forward and tell us this story. That's the same, same vocal tone over and over. What was your role with Maggie? <laughs> it just said f***ing. Were you guys like a Yeah. Yeah. Is Maggie here also? Turn it off. I just heard shuffling again. Like, no, I heard it too. I don't want to lose no, Sam because he's really coming through strong. Same voice every time. Sam, are you the one that has been groping us and playing with bra straps? Sorry, can you repeat that? You were with Maggie for three years. What what cut it short? Was it William? That was like anger, like, yes! Sam, I just want to clarify. You met Maggie, you guys were, I'm gonna use the word f***ing as you said, and then you, did I just say William? That was weird. Were you a client or were you more than that, like a boyfriend? Okay. Were you really her boyfriend or did you believe that you were her boyfriend? Okay. F you. It just got really mad at me. Are you offended? I'm sorry. Mean? I heard mean. I'm then. not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to understand the story. Like, don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to understand the facts here. I mean, you just admitted to killing. You admitted to killing William. Is he gone? <laughs> Why are you talking? Sam. Come on. We gotta work through this. We have to we, we have to work through this and talk through this. I, I, think I, he's I know gone. I know the story and yeah. he doesn't like that in his mind him and Maggie were uh -huh. you know? Yeah. And when he found out that they weren't, he definitely did something with William. I think that when you said like were you a boyfriend or were you a client? and thought that you were a boyfriend. I bet you, I bet you money that that's what she said to him, was we were never boyfriend, girlfriend, you were only a client. Yeah. I really feel yeah. it, and that struck a, a nerve with him. Yeah. We're not trying to be judgmental or rude or anything like that. We're just trying to understand the story, and you were working with us, and now you're not. So now we gotta piece it together ourselves. I was really hoping to get more concrete evidence through some sort of device to confirm that story. Yeah. I think we did get some evidence confirming that. There's definitely a man here. Alrighty. Well, we've got some weird things happening. It's time to go back upstairs. At some point in time, you guys jumped big. And at the same time you guys jumped big, I don't know what you heard, but the door that separates the house from the apartment, the whole door... Uh, it shook, like even the keys were swinging in the door. The door yeah. literally like rattled and shut, like scared. 
me, the heebie-jeebies out of me. Like, and I don't, I'm used to this stuff. So I don't usually jump. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that it made me jump, I feel like, yeah, it was, it was pretty uh, extreme. It was this door here? Yeah, that door right there. It doesn't open and close easy. And I've got weather stripping on it. Oh. Oh, there's a dog in there. There's a dog in there. <laughs> but I had the door shut and it like, it like really shook. The, the primary bedroom, which is the room you're staying in tonight, my sister-in-law's mother and father stayed and they slept in there. And she woke me up at two o'clock in the morning to say, I woke up and a man was kissing me. She felt like there was like a man right in her face. She could explain the man's shirt, the, the cuffs, everything. She could explain this man. For some reason, the owner's names are attached to the newspaper articles. Or, it sounds like somebody was walking upstairs. That's yeah. the bedroom above you, your bedroom is above you. <laughs> no. I can't be the room that we're sleeping in. Man. What? What happened? There was something darker than dark in there. And when I walked in, there was something darker than dark. Like a, uh, like a mask, like a sure, person. Sure, yeah, just something darker than dark standing there. And then this light went off and I was like, nope. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run. <laughs> We can turn the light on in here. I'm trying to get to the light. It's over here. I couldn't get to the light because there was something darker than dark in here. <laughs> How dark was it? Darker than dark. <laughs> just as we came up from the basement, Mandy had to come into the dark room and obviously you just saw what happened. I wasn't planning on investigating this room because this is the room that we're sleeping in tonight. But at the same time, this is also where I got touched. And I just feel like a lot happened in this room when we weren't filming. Yeah. I've put a cat ball here because that's where I got touched, was like right there. Whoa. That hallway light literally just turned on by itself. And I, I, yeah, it definitely turned on by itself. Oh, now it's off. That's funny, it's a lens. <gasps> There's no way that that sensor would even pick us up all the way from over here. It's just a minute. It's just a minute. Can you walk into this room? It said in Mandy, and I said need. In Mandy need? Like it wants a channel? Yeah, that's what, that's it, what sounds it sounds like. like. They want to channel me. And I just want to confirm that it's not me or you doing it. I'm going to like get up. There you are. There you go. In circles. Still not going off. <laughs> I mean, it's motion activated in the hallway, so... Still not going off. Females wake up to this, like, man right in their face. It just went off. I mean, if you want it, you're more than welcome to use the motion sensor. To communicate, it just went off. Wait, didn't it? Wasn't there an actual guy named Guy? Yeah. I didn't put this together. This keeps saying Guy on the obelisk. It keeps saying Guy? It keeps saying Guy. Guy! Are you here with us, Guy? Guy, if you're here with us, can you please come into this room? We would love to talk to you. Oh, I feel so bad. I didn't even put that together. Who is Guy though? I can't remember who Guy is. Tofanelli? He's one of the Tofanelli brothers. Oh, I'm getting this feeling that like some of the other spirits are like, oh, well, if I, <gasps> if I oh just touch God. her, if I just touch her like how Fred did, then... I didn't freaking move. No, you didn't move at all. I was watching you. I'm gonna get off the couch, okay? And if that's you, I really want you to go over to the cat ball again, just exactly how you were doing that. And I really want you to confirm that you're here with us. And this is something that I've really been trying to get to the book. Oh my gosh, thank oh you. Oh my God. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. I know it's just a little flashing ball, but that shouldn't be going off. Okay, the guy who wakes women up by kissing them in the bed, in this room, the person who makes it just said guy again. So was this guy? Whoa. Thank you so much for communicating with us, guy. I think you were touched by three different people. And I think that they're touching you because 
when you initially got, this is still going on, when you initially got touched by Fred, it was like, oh, it's just Fred, it's fine. I, I feel like I'm being touched right now. It, you're like, oh, it's fine, it's just Fred, this is what he does. And so it kind of opens the door for other spirits to be like, oh, well then if I touch her the same way that Fred did, oh. it'll be fine. That's what I was getting at. So I feel like the person down in the basement and up here are two different people that are touching you. It's it's literally non-stop right now, which is bizarre. It's not been going off. The sensor light in the hallway isn't it going off gone anymore. Off at all. Since we discovered who Guy was. He's here. He came yeah. into the room with us. I think he wants you to sit down. Really? Yeah. Were you the one that touched my leg? Whoa, were you the one that touched my leg earlier? Protect. 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 Who is protecting us? After it said protect, there was a huge shift. Maybe they're trying to protect you from Guy. Should I be worried about Guy? He's what? I just, I don't know why, I just feel like I need to stand next to you right now. Like, I don't feel yeah. comfortable on that couch anymore. Oh my god, it says radio. Stop. Yes, we want you to communicate through the radio. Who just shouted at us? With Guy, it's like, he's definitely a womanizer. He's a womanizer, so he's filling you up. I think that Fred was your butt. I think that guy was your leg. And then... Bra strap guy? Bra strap guy. Sam. Just say sit down. Can you take a seat next to me, please? Thank you. You look so happy right now. Look at you. I think we figured out anyway who it was that touched my leg. Thank you for confirming that. <laughs> I really want to cover like one of the like weirder rooms now. Like it's not weird enough, but <laughs> I think yeah. we should go with the doll room. I think so too. So do you feel like the doll room is darker than the basement? Um, I actually feel more comfortable now in the basement than I do in the creepy doll room. I just didn't feel like anybody should be sleeping in there because of how dark the energy was. And I just don't feel like anybody needs to be in there with her just to give her her space. I put dolls in there and it seems to keep people out of it. And why do you feel like there's a woman in that room? How do I know it's a woman? I don't know. I just know it's a woman. She's also had some strange interactions with other women. Kind of influences them to make them a little bit more sexual <laughs> so for example this one woman she's in her 50s after being here she felt like she wanted to have sex with this like 19 year old man which is not something she'd ever considered before kind of reminds me of a succubus the owner just doesn't like this room she says that it feels off and just as i'm standing here i'm getting a huge huge headache not even kidding so that's a little bit concerning That's really concerning. I need to step out for a second. Okay. Sorry. Oh, it felt like if you get hit over the head with something, like just that agonizing pain. I don't know where that came from. It sounded like it came from back in the bedroom. The one that we literally just came from. I just have to Okay, let's go in there. Um, but yeah, if I'm if I'm feeling like that, I just stepping outside again. Um, we were actually told that if we start to really, really feel like we need to get out, don't just step outside the house. Um, go across the street, and then that kind of like cleanses. Um, oh my oh. head! Did you? Are you feeling oh it? Oh my god. I'm, I swear I'm not making this up. I just got this like intense pressure right here in my Yeah, head. it literally feels like I've been like hit over the head with a golf club. I wonder if it's because it's like invading the space, it's late. It doesn't want us in here. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, well, we can keep it open. Did you guys turn that on or? No, that cat ball just turned on by itself. Oh, let me get... Oh! <laughs> 
your key is blown off. It was? Yeah. Is it me? Is there somebody here with us? Thank you. Can you please make it? The light on the floor. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, the light, the <laughs> sensor. Off. Okay, I'm gonna point my camera here. You can point your camera over yeah, yeah, here. So the sensor light in the hallway just turned on by itself again. The cat ball's going off again. How about the K2? Can you please light up the K2? Is that your favorite doll? Oh. Oh. Do you like these dolls? Oh my god. Lights That's going off even more than it was when we were in the in our room. Just to try to debunk this going off isn't making that go off, is it? Can you please light up that ball again? No, oh, see. Motion sensor. I no, did there, ask. There we go. Okay, De debunked. I want to know who we're talking with. So I'm gonna. I am gonna put on the spirit talker app. Oh, just got a weird, like, bodily sensation. How are you feeling? Uh, weird. What do you feel like happened in this room? Why do you think that there's like negative or- This room will change you. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna go into trance. Yeah, why did you say that? That was really weird. Why would you say this room will change you? That's scaring me actually. No, it's, I'm, I, it's weird. I got this weird like, ugh, like this weird sensation in my chest and like, I feel like I feel like I'm starting to channel somebody. I feel like I'm channeling a woman. And a lot happened in this room with her. A lot happened. Do you think she was one of like the women of the night? Yeah, she was definitely a call woman. She was also extremely, oh my God. I feel like, I literally feel like I'm about to just like drop into trance right now. She's very manipulative, especially with men. Settlement. <gasps> I forgot that I turned this on. You were scaring me, Mandy. This is what she does, so oh. this is what she does. She wants... River. River. Like the creek outside? Dude, something is happening in this room. Every, like, I've never... She wants to use me, like she wants to feel again. She wants to like, this is exactly what Elsie was talking about. The women who come here, who go home feeling like they want to have sex and they want to do all this stuff. She, she wants to feel again. The cat ball behind you is now lighting up. Yeah. Her ending wasn't good though. Whoa. Yeah, her ending that was not just good. That just went up to red, Mandy. Yeah, she, I actually think she was murdered. Um, yeah, she was murdered. Mm -hmm. Oh, she had pretty hair. She was murdered. Murdered at the hands of a man. Were you murdered here? Not here, but in this town, yes. So why do you come back here? This is where I shined. Do you go all over the house or do you just tend to stay in this one room? No, I don't need two people come to me. Do you have a name? Mm. Which one do you want? What were you known as here, when you worked here? Joanne. Joanne. Do you know who Maggie is? She's okay. And how about Sam? Did you ever come in contact with Sam? Oof. Oh, sh That was f***ing weird, dude. I just saw a woman being murdered at the river. Um, oh, she just said river. 
Dude, it said that said river. Just said river. I just. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. I feel so sick. Oh, I saw a man pushing her. Like I was going underwater, and a man had his hands on my neck, and he was pushing me underwater, and then I I like came out. That's bizarre, Mandy. And you know what? The K2 was going off like crazy. Rivers came through now on my device and your device. I was literally like going underwater. Just saw this man in this like white collared shirt and he had his hands on my neck and he was pushing me under the water. I just bubbles in just his face like I couldn't like get out of it. I feel like you really hit the nail I on the like head. I feel like she had like a nickname of like Joe. Like Jojo Joe. The second you started trancing out like that, the cat ball behind you was going off like crazy, the K2 was going off like crazy, that cat ball was going off like crazy, the motion sensor light was going like I literally didn't know where to film. I also want you to know without freaking you out, the reason why like right before you went into trance and I started taking photos of you, it was because your eyes were turning red. Really? I'm zooming in right now. And they're not freaking red on the camera. I can't believe that that's not went off either. Sorry, sorry. No, it's because she's she st like stepped she away, stepped from, away second, from the yeah. situation because we got it. It's scary, but it's also like I'm so grateful to be able to experience that because that shares her story. Like she was murdered. Yeah. All I can say is that happened really, really fast and it was very unexpected, but at the same time, from stepping foot in here and feeling that sharp pain, I almost felt like I stepped in and she was like trying to connect with me. And I was like, oh, and she's like, oh, wrong person. <laughs> and then you <laughs> stepped in and then you were like, I feel this pain. And then it was so instant. This, it's just weird to me that all the equipment stopped the second you came out with that. That is forever going to be like one of the craziest moments I think I've ever experienced during an investigation. No, Are I you won't stop twitching. Maybe she had a lazy eye. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to lighten Cat the mood. That was really... Flies and hits you. <laughs> it was so intense. Um, Annalisa, please cut that connection. Please cut that connection with her. Can we get... Oh, sorry. sorry. No, you're good. You're Can... bloody talking to your spirit no, guide. I'm like interrupting you. I'm so <laughs> okay, sorry. Can you, can you, stop for a second? you you really need it. Keep going, please. Can I say? That was yeah. huge. Ooh. Wow. Wow. <gasps> what was that? What the f was that? The sign fell. What did, which sign? I think it was the. Oh, look at my. Like, uh, you can't. See, I thought I got goosebumps or her. The live, laugh, lobotomy sign felt. <laughs> really? Okay, that's actually kind of creepy because we were both feeling in our heads. Oh, our head. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Joanne? I'm going to take some photos in here. And I want you to appear for me, okay? Hey, you were Show yourself, Rose. Thank you. We're gonna check these out when we come back round. Um, bedroom. Steve. Yeah. Oh. Something just pulled on my backpack. Something just fuck. It said Steve, and then it pulled on my backpack. Let go. I just heard let go. Let go of what? Steve, are you in one of these mirrors? The only reason I'm saying that is because the dream that I had with oh, the, the hands, hands coming out. out. So that would make sense if you're why it got pulled and like one of the hands came out and pulled your backpack. Steve, are you in the mirrors? I have. Oh, um, I've got like just pins and needles all over my head just thinking about it. That's spooky, but... Dude, I, I mean, it was enough to like stop me. Oh. Are there spirits in these mirrors? Oh. 
Should I just take like... Yeah, we could try it. Hopefully we capture something on those because there, there's still something weird about the mirrors that we never really got to. Any last words? Because this is going to be your last chance to communicate with us in this room. Are you going to mess with us tonight? Say friend. <laughs> we're friends, good. Okay, good, we're friends. We're not looking for any trouble and we don't want to be disrupted once we're trying to sleep, okay? I thought I heard girls come through. I heard girls. Yeah. All right, we're gonna continue on. What? Is there anybody in here right? Whoa! Is there anybody in here right? Whoa! Oh my god, I'm so scared. Like the second I sat down there, it like almost turned off. Look, it's flickering. Film it. It was not doing that earlier. Dude, what the Two there. Okay. Stand in front of the door with the cross on it for me. Thank you. We'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. Goodbye. I know. I heard that. Oh, dude. What? Hello. It sounds like something back. Like she's back. Or we're back. Hey, remember us? We are back in the room that we originally started in. Yeah. And we knew that we were gonna come back to this one because when we were here, obviously, we got so many responses about the basement, we just had to kind of like dip out of this one. We're gonna end our investigation in this room tonight. The picture that was taken in that mirror showing an entire family on this bed is one of the most insane pictures I've ever seen, ever. Let's try and recreate it. Sounds good. What? What? That? what? Did you not hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. You didn't hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. What are you talking about? What did you hear? I just, I literally just heard it sounded like a huge, like, clock, like a dong, like a gong. Oh. That was weird. I don't even want to take a no, picture. I didn't hear anything at all. I don't all. even want to take any more pictures in that mirror. You know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of a freaking funeral. Oh. It sounded like a funeral. I know that you can't hear funerals, but that was the first thing I thought of, was just death, what? funeral. Like, that was morbid. I will take them because I'm a, I'm a big girl, I'm a big brave girl, but that was freaking scary. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay, we're gonna let these develop. And that's it for the Polaroids. Did you? I went. No, before, when you're putting the photos down? Uh huh. And you're like, that's it, the Polaroids. Did you say something before that? No, I don't think so. Oh, I just heard like a voice, like a... Okay, this is interesting. Oh. We're gonna investigate this room for a little bit. Okay. And then we're gonna go back into every single one of these rooms. And check and, and see. And check the Polaroids, yeah. Okay. And then go to bed. Do you need um your camera? I've got my camera here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't know I how close that is, sorry. Oh, it's okay. That's a very old one. That came from my great my great grandfather. Yeah. Um, Look at him helping us out. That's so nice. That's from the him. 70s. You know what else is from the 70s? What else is from the 70s? Fred. <laughs> <laughs> well, Fred That's true. Fred did pass away in the 70s. And it all comes full circle. Now we're back in Fred's room. Did you not hear that? I just heard like a like a 
girl talking. Oh, like, that wasn't you? No. It was just like a... Uh, oh, I thought, whoa. Oh, I thought, whoa. Very similar to what we heard in the I heard No, I, I heard that, but I like registered. I was like, oh, maybe that was like from her camera or something like no, weird. Dude. What is happening in this room? It's just weird. I heard that. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. You know what's connected to that? What? Well, the basement? The doll room. The, the doll room? Yeah, it's right I'm next like, door. the basement? We're clearly not underground, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, the, the doll, doll room. room. Mandy, my necklace just fell off of me. Look. What? What kind of necklace is that? That clip came undone. What the? F I wear this necklace all the time, and it never. It's, I've off. known you for a hot minute now, and you've never had a necklace just fall off your neck. Is something like trying to like undress me? <laughs> I know that's weird, but it kind of feels that way. Who was that? Who tried to take my necklace from me? Can you tell me why you unclipped my necklace? All the smudges and the mm -hmm. mirror and stuff like that. You know what's being, you know what's interesting is, um, this is weird. I've never seen this before. They're showing me that the mirror is actually a reflection of the past. Of the past. It's like showing the other side of things mm -hmm. rather than being a portal in which spirits come through and use. It would make sense if like this was the parents' bedroom, if this was Maggie and her husband's bedroom. Ju the only reason I'm saying that is because it is the furthest room and the- I'm a good person. Uh, oh, well, we know that you're a good person, Maggie. Was this your room? Yeah, that's interesting. It's not, that's not- Five. Five. Was there five of you? The family came through so strongly today on this investigation. Haunting presence lurks. Haunting presence lurks? Um, Nicholas. Nicholas. Is there a Nicholas that passed away here? Do you know? I don't, I don't know off of records. There's a frickin' Nicholas who died in this house. Is there? Dude, uh, yes. I hated my life. Oh. Who are we talking to? Nicholas? Is that you we're yeah, talking we to? Into that guy, yeah. We're not even, oh this is God. like, we're wrapping up with the investigation. Like we're into the Gun. Thing. Oh God. my God. Is she still awake? I don't know. Probably. Cause she knows everything. I mean, it's like past three o'clock in the morning, but she knows everything about these um. people. Yeah, let me go grab my phone. I don't think I grabbed it. I ain't staying in here by leave. myself. No, I can't leave. I can't leave this. We'll, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. We'll ask her. <gasps> oh. oh, my. Oh, perfect oh. timing. Oh, oh that's weird. God, you must have known. We were like, we need to call Elsie. I did know. What's you up? knew. Oh, you watched I was literally, no, I was asleep and I just woke up. And I was like. We were like, we need to call Elsie and I didn't have my phone. So we were wrapping up. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that was so weird. Dude, you were literally you. asleep and you just woke up and came through. I mean, the house. Yeah. We're connected. Uh huh. So they like tell uh -huh. me weird things. So I literally just woke up and I was like, I think I need Details. To it just said details. <laughs> yes, that's what we need. <laughs> Who's Nicholas? My husband. I have this list individual names that have been provided to died in house of this address. So you just, you're that's not. That's my husband. No, those are just the names of people who've lived here or who've owned this house. Okay, hold on. So Nicholas, whoa. Nicholas is your husband. Nicholas is my husband. So this is a list of people that didn't die in the house, Those but who owns the who house. lived in the house. Bingo! Thank you! Well, Nicholas came through. Hmm. And the next thing that came through was gun. Which 
I have no idea what that means. And then it said, I hated my life. And then it said, I hated my life. And also, just by the way, that um, we've had the REM pods on in every single room and it's never went off like that. Um, Nicholas, did you live in this house? Were you a boarder? No, oh, wait, you need to stop. Can you stop, please? Can you step away from it? A little bit more. Can you please step away from it a little bit more, please? Thank you. Thank you. We still want to communicate with you. We're just... Did you live in this house? Were you a boarder here? Did you live nearby? This just said yes okay. on the obelisk. Okay. Is your name Nicholas? Done. I think it's done. Yeah. Well, whatever he did, he drained my battery. I have one minute left, and I still had at the. I still had prior to this like an hour. Uh, and now it's like done. Well, my battery's almost dead as well. So I. I think mean, that, he like. Yeah. Came in, swooped on some energy, and uh, that's crazy. The mirrors. Yeah, these ones. Yeah, nothing I can see right off the bat. Huh, okay. And then the last ones are in the basement. <laughs> so... We have to go get it. Okay. These are the other two. Nothing. Okay, well, and we just got a nice collection of creepy pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully they've all went to bed. That's my biggest, that's what I hope anyway, so we can finally go to sleep. It's past four o'clock in the morning. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so sleep deprived. <laughs> it's not looking down the hallway like it was before, so that's why I thought it fell off the box. It's not facing direct towards us, the camera. Oh, look. Oh. Oh, it's like looking up. Is this when I woke up and came up here? Okay. Oh, so, so it went up before I came up. That's weird. That's weird, yeah. Yeah, so right now we're trying to find Maggie's grave and we're trying to find Fred's grave. There were two very prominent spirits that came through on our investigation last night. We've had three hours sleep. We have our coffees though. <laughs> we're good. Uh, what is I it? just passed the yep. entrance. Okay. Uh, we're we not are not good. good. <laughs> we are not good. <laughs> what are we looking for? So apparently we need to go over here to the left first. Um, over there is, um, I can't remember who, but somebody's over there that we would recognize. Okay. I'll Okay, here they are. It's the finale family. So when we kept talking about the family, this is who I was picking up on was the two finales. There's Steve. And then here's Guy's plot. Guy's buried here? Oh my gosh. Guy's buried here. That's wild. He was coming through so strong last night. Yeah, he was. Should we leave him flowers? Because, I mean, that's really cool. Yeah, I really think we should. We still appreciate we have him coming through and possibly filling you up. Whoa. Sorry, look at the size of that pine cone. Ooh, Mo, that's a big beach. <laughs> and we're trying to find Maggie. The vampire up there. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, say goodbye to the weird vampire. Well, I don't know if he's a weird vampire. He might, he might be a chill vampire. We just don't know. But we're not taking any risks here. Maggie never really came through for us last night. No. But she is supposed to be like there. She's one of the, I mean, that was the main her. spirits. Yeah. Go through the arch one third of the way down to the right. Let's go find Maggie. Oh my god, sorry, I zoomed in. Oh my on you. gosh. Oh, we forgot the freaking flowers. We're the worst. Here, just take these ones. 
just kidding, Mandy. I was like, you said it's on the right hand side. You said it was about three quarters of the way down. Explain what just happened. We're literally standing outside of Maggie's grave right now. It took a long time to find it because it hasn't got her first name on it. But then, thankfully, help came and uh, we were actually able to locate her grave. But the second we walked up to the grave, I don't know what is wrong with my camera. I don't even know if I need a new camera. I have no idea what's happened to it, but it's not going on. That's why I'm filming on the iPhone now. Maggie. We came here. She's like, you forgot my flowers I in know, the car. I got the flowers in the car. And just she's like, here you go. Like, the car is so far away. I was like, sorry, Maggie. I'm going to go run and grab her flowers. I think you need to run I'm and grab run the and flowers. Okay. Go, Mandy, go. It's uh, not open. No, my keys. It's not open. I locked it. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. You know that scene where they're running and then, like, they're still not getting any closer? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel when I eat your salads. Oh, well, there you go, Maggie. Thanks, Mandy. Thank you. What a trooper. Thank you, Maggie, for letting us into your home and letting us talk to all the people there. And I hope that you like the new flowers. This has been one of the weirdest investigations that i've ever done one of the most accurate one of the most intelligent ever um i'm really really happy with everything that we captured yesterday and you know just saying goodbye to them was just like the perfect the icing on top yeah so yeah that being said thanks again guys for watching if you want to you can go ahead and like comment subscribe let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because i want this house to be put on the map for serious paranormal activity. Thanks again, Elsie, for inviting us. And if you guys want to book a night in Bethany's home, sweet haunted home, then I have put the link in the description below. So definitely book yourself in for a spooky night. That being said, have a good night. Bye. Bye. Well, 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 look who made it to the end of this episode. I know that that was a lot of history and names to take in, so I highly recommend you check out the link in the description if you want to know more about the spirits we were communicating with tonight. Remember, I read every comment, so make sure you say hi, and I'll see you again soon.